Okay, here we are in the application castle builder. Uh, let's start with turning on the grid. You do that with this top button here for the grid. And you use your left mouse button to rotate. Both left and right to pan. Uh, scroll in and out with the scroll bar, zoom in and out. You also have a context menu by pressing your middle mouse button for acting upon different objects once we add them. So let's start by opening up our texture menu. And as you can see, the texture that you see here changes with whatever the current texture is. So that shows you whatever the current texture is. You can also scroll with the scroll mouse over it or push the button. You can also resize it. If it doesn't need a scroll bar, it goes away. As you can see, I like to do this. You can also select the top bar to move it. Same thing with the models. I'll just do that so I don't have to bother scrolling. Well, let's start with a standard block. And as you can see, you double click to place it. And let's say you place something and you don't like the texture, you can change the default texture. You can go apply texture, it applies whatever the default texture is. You can then move. And notice how it snaps to the grid. You can turn snap off here, fourth button down, and if you move it, you can place it wherever you want. Again, it's going to fall on the plane of the grid, and I'll cover how to create different levels in a second. Alright, so let's turn snap back on and snap it back into place. Now you can use copy, and copy allows you to sit there and start placing objects, and it stays in copy mode until you hit the space bar. And then goes out of copy mode. So you have that. Now let's say uh, you want it to change the texture on all of the all of a particular style at once, uh, like whatever the current texture is, if you select this button right below it, that what that does is that toggles on to change all textures of type and then you can change them all right there. Okay. Now, let's say you have an item you want to pull in, like, here's like a, a, a window item, and you want to place it. Well, you don't want to place it along the, this, this grid, these grid points. You want it to, like, maybe create several windows over, over an area. If you turn this grid button on, what this does is this sets the grid to one unit. You can now snap on one unit. stuff like that. You can turn it off. It's back to the standard five units, which basically are five feet. So you can start building stuff like that. <laughs> 